All right, guys, so real quick before I get in the video, um, I just want to let you all know that uh, the deck giveaway is still going on. So follow me on Twitch. I'll be giving away two decks, and uh, that's basically it. Next video, I will go over the winners of the uh, giveaway. Anyways, guys, here is the actual trick. All right, so this trick, um, I saw this on Jimmy Fallon with uh, David Blaine, and David Blaine performed this really cool trick. And um, in all honesty, guys, I believe he was just using the size step and stack. So here is what the trick is going to look like. Um, basically, you can use any deck of cards, and you will actually be able to do the trick. So essentially, what, um, what the trick looks like is you could have your spectator go ahead and name any card in the deck, and uh, no matter what card they name, you know exactly uh, where the card is, what order, what position of the deck the cards in. So here's what the trick will look like. Let's say somebody names a random card. Let's say like the Eight of Spades or something. You tell them, all right. So um, your card, you chose the Eight of Spades. You could have picked any card in the deck. This is when you open the deck up. You tell your spectators, again, remember, you can change your card or you can keep this card. Let's say you were to keep the card, the Eight of Spades. You tell them their card is going to be seven cards down from the bottom or from the top. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. The seventh card you guys said was the Eight of Spades, and this is going to be the Eight of Spades, guys. So this is the trick, and if you guys want to learn how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so for the tutorial, I'm not actually going to go into how to set up for size seven stack. Just go ahead, click the link. You guys will find out how to set these cards up into the actual stack itself. So I'm going to go ahead and assume you guys have the deck in this whole order. And here's what you want to do. So the way I've seen this trick uh, taught before is essentially you're going to be taking the four, the seven, the ten, and the king. And it's going to look somewhat like this. So go ahead and take the four clubs. Seven of spades, or seven of hearts, ten of spades, and four diamonds. Put these four cards, so just cut the deck so these go to the bottom. And then from here, what you're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys what I did in the performance. So let's say the spectator was to pick the eight of spades, right? So here's how you got to the number, the seventh position. So whatever uh, suit the spectator picks, okay, so if they were to pick the, ace of, or the eight of spades, let's say they pick the eight of spades, right? So the only spade out of the bottom four cards is the ten of spades. So what you do is we're going to call these the base cards so you do your base card here of the spades is a 10 so you do 10 minus 8 which is going to give you 2 then the second step is to multiply that number by 4 okay that's and you always multiply it by 4 no matter what so it's 10 minus 8 gives you 2 you take that uh, the difference multiply that by 4 that's going to give you 8 and then you subtract the final number by how many cards are left to the bottom of the deck. So in this case, the Ten of Spades is a second from the bottom. There's only one card in front of it, so you only subtract it by one. All right, so that's going to give you 10 minus uh, 8, which gives you 2, times 4, which gives you 8 again, minus 1, because there's only one card in front of the 10. That's going to give you 7. So 7 cards down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's going to give you the Eight of Spades. So I'll show you guys again what another one would look like. So in this case, uh, let's say the spectator was to pick, um, let's say they were to pick a heart, right? So let's say they were to pick a number like the uh, the 10 of hearts, for example. So what you're going to do is you remember, okay, so you remember at the bottom of the deck, you have 4, 7, 10, king. You know that your hearts correlate with the 7 on the bottom, all right? So you're dealing with uh, the 7 of hearts. They pick the 10 of hearts, right? So because the, the card that they chose was a 10, and that's higher than the seven. You can't really do seven minus 10 to get a negative three, you know, dealing with cards. So essentially what you do is you add 13 to this seven. So if they pick a number higher than whatever the base card is, in this case, the seven, you add 13 plus seven, which is gonna give you 20. And now you do the entire step. So you do 20 minus 10, which gives you 10, times that by four, which gives you 40. And then you do 40, and since there's two cards, Above the 7 here, there's a 10 and a king. You do 40 minus 2, which gives you a total of 38, right? So you take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8th card. I think we said the 10 of, uh, the 10 of hearts, right? So this is going to be the Ten of Hearts. And I'll do one more for you guys in case you guys don't have a general idea. But uh, that's basically the trick. Like I said, I'll do uh, one more. All right, so since I just showed you guys uh, the Seven, the same process goes with the Four of Hearts as well. So most likely somebody, if they're gonna pick a club, they're gonna pick a number higher than the club. So the same thing, whatever number they pick, they're gonna pick a Ten of Clubs, you just do 13 plus four, 
which gives you 17, and then you do 17 minus uh, the 10. All right, so that's basically the same thing. Four and the seven, they go hand in hand. But uh, the king is going to be a little bit uh, different only because you don't have to subtract any cards. So the king, the diamonds are a lot easier to perform. So if anybody were to pick like the 10 of diamonds, for example, uh, you already know that the king is worth 13, right? So you do 13 minus 10, which is going to give you 3 times that by 4, uh, which is 12. All right, so that's going to be the uh, final. What do we say for the uh, king? We said the 10 of diamonds, right? So that's right. 13 minus 10 equals 3 times 4 equals 12. And you don't have to subtract any because there's no cards in front of it. So 12 cards down. I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Twelfth card is the 10 of diamonds, guys. And that is going to be uh, the trick. I hope you guys like it. Um, it's a super cool um, you know, trick you can do with the size 7 stack where the spectator really can pick whatever card they want to. And, um, you know, like I said, you guys can do this anywhere. Just make sure you have a deck dedicated to... Um, the size sevens, because in all honesty, it does take a lot of time to actually set this up. So what I would do if you have multiple decks, just go ahead and um, have, get one deck and set that aside, and that'll be your size seven. So that way, whenever you want to do this trick, you can have the deck for itself. And like I said before, you can technically do this um, with any four cards on the bottom. So if you did want to cut the cards or whatever, um, if you got comfortable enough, all you'd have to do is memorize or take a peek at the bottom four cards, and then you'd have the same process. Um, again, but it is a lot easier if you do have your own four cards at the bottom that you can easily memorize and that way you can do the trick. Um, you know, you can do the trick right every single time and the math will get easier, guys. I promise you. It shows repetition. Hope this video helped. Don't forget to uh, do the deck giveaway stuff if you guys are interested. And as always, thanks for watching. She's a literal animal.